Hey guys, it's Rian, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my January favorites. So one of my favorites this month have been colored lip products, which for me is pretty weird because if I do have a lip product that is a favorite, it's usually just one lip product that I like. I don't usually like multiple lip products, but this month I have three that I have just been absolutely loving. The first lip product that I've absolutely been loving is the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. I don't know why it took me so long to show up to the Revlon Lip Butter party, but I am sure glad that I'm here now. And I love this color because um, I have darker lips naturally, as I've mentioned before. Um, and so sometimes when I put colors on my lips that look good on people with light pink lips, they look a little different on me and they tend to look a little funky. Um, but this one I really like because it's sort of like a darker red color and I love darker colors on my lips because I think they work well with my complexion because my lips are darker naturally. I know they look pink right now, but that's because I'm wearing a well, I'll talk about it. So I really like this one and um, I just love that it's sort of a very rich, deep, sort of burgundy-ish color. Which as many of you know, I have been obsessed with maroon, burgundy, and oxblood. So I absolutely love this color and um, I love the fact that it's so light too. Because sometimes when I put on a darker color, I feel like it's a big commitment. Because I have to worry about it like when I'm eating and then I have to worry about it like at school and wearing and with this I kind of don't really feel that way because it's a butter and so it's very light and I don't feel like I have to worry about it very much um, so I really like that about this. My next favorite is also a Revlon product and this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain in Smitten and this is a very unique color. Um, it looks super dark in the crayon but when you put it on your lips it's definitely a really fun sort of vibrant pinkish fuchsia color I would call it um, and I absolutely love it and I love the fact that it's a stain because as I said before I really do not like having to check my lip product all day long I am so not about that life so I am really happy that this is a stain because I, I don't know it's just nice to have something you can put on and then not worry about it when you're eating and drinking and going throughout your day. But I really like this color and it's a little bit more vibrant than I would usually go for, but I don't know. I feel safe with this color, maybe because it's a stain, um, but I absolutely love it. The last lip product is the one that I'm wearing now and actually since I applied this lip product I had a few crackers because I got hungry because I've started waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning because I have classes that are earlier than my classes last semester um, and so I have to get up really early now to kind of get you know, all sort of awake before I get to class because I want to actually absorb information. Um, and if I don't wake up early enough, then I'm just like, what is going on? So I have to wake up early <laughs> in order to get to class. Um, and so I keep eating my breakfast at like 5 30, 6 o'clock, and then by 10 o'clock, I'm starving. So right now, it's about 10 o'clock, um, and so I had to have some crackers. But uh, I had some crackers, I drank some water, it still looks really good, um, and I, that's part of the reason why I love this product. Okay, Rian, what's the product called? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, it's the Magic Tink Tint by Pixie, and I actually, this is a funny story. I got a little black bag, and then this was one of the premium samples when they were doing the premium sample uh, promotion. And so I kept this in my drawer because all of the samples that I get from like Sephora or Nordstrom that are beauty products, I just kind of keep in a drawer. I don't have that many, but um, sometimes when I'm feeling like a little bit adventurous, you know, I'll pull out a sample and see what I think. And so I was actually reading online about this color and someone had written that it's the perfect pink color and the, the reason it's magic is because you're supposed to be able to put it on anybody and it will turn into the perfect pink color for them. So when I read that I was like, oh my gosh, I, I have a sample of that, I should definitely go and, you know, try it out. So I thought, okay, I should really try that out because, you know, I have issues finding nice pink colors that work on me. And I really was so happy with the way that this turned out. When I put it on, it made my lips look natural, but it also made them look a lot less dull because um, it gave them a little bit of color, but not too much color. And I, I feel like if I saw someone in person, they would think, okay, that's probably their natural lip color, which I like. Um, and so yeah, I've been really, really liking this color. And I'm really excited to wear it in spring too, because I love 
light pinks in spring and so I'm super excited about this color for them too. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend this if you have trouble finding pinks that match your skin tone as well. I definitely think you should try this. And they sell it at Pixie at Target, I believe. My next beauty favorite actually kind of cracks me up because when I first got this product, I was not a fan. Um, and that is the Naked 2 palette. And the reason I was not a fan of the Naked 2 palette when I originally got it was because I thought that the original Naked palette was far superior and I was like, oh, I don't really like the colors in there. But for whatever reason, I started using this and then I sort of just kind of forgot all about the original Naked palette. And I really, really like this palette a lot. And the reason, oh, except for the packaging, I don't like it because you have to do this. Ugh. I'm such a weakling. So, the reason that I wanted to put this in my favorites this month is because I've actually hit pan on Suspect. And this is the first time I've hit pan on any of the colors in my Naked or Naked 2 palettes. I'm using Suspect on my eyes pretty much every single day. This is my look that I do every day with the colors from this palette. Um, and I feel like for using it every day to have just hit pan is amazing because I use this so often. Um, so the look that I usually do is Suspect on the lid, snake bite in the crease, blackout um, as a liner. I use Verve as an inner corner highlight and I use Foxy as a brow bone lightener. So this is sort of the look that I do often. I also drag snake bite along the lower lash line because my eyes are really big and I, I find that that helps kind of make my eyes look a little bit more proportionate. Um, so yeah, that is really exciting, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was exciting because I hit pan a few days ago and I was like, you know what? That means it's got to go in a favorites because clearly I've been using it a lot. And I still really want the Naked Basics palette and I have almost bought it twice, but I just can't seem to get myself to pay for it because I'm like, I already have two Naked palettes. I'll probably buy it, but it'll take a little time for me to talk myself into it. I'll probably buy it, um, you know, when I go with one of my friends and they can be like, Rianne, you need to buy this. Because if I'm by myself, I'm very practical, so yeah. <laughs> So now moving into some fashion favorites. My first fashion favorite is this hat from Express. I love this hat. I actually picked this up at Marshalls, although it's originally from Express, and I really love it. And when this style of hat first came out, I didn't, I've almost bought one a few times, um, especially from Forever 21, but the reason I didn't buy them is because I was like, oh, I don't know, I, I'm just not sure. And so actually I tried this one on at Marshalls, and it just looked better than the ones that I had tried on, on me, um, than the other ones. So, I, I really like this hat, and um, actually when I put it on, it makes my hearing, like, kind of muffled, so I can't even really hear myself. So if I started shouting, you know why. Um, but yeah, I really like this hat. I've been wearing it like crazy this month, maybe too much, but I just absolutely love it, so. My next fashion favorite of the month have been my American Apparel leggings. So um, the reason why I really like these is, first off, I got them at a consignment store and I love them to death. And so the reason I like these is because they're so thick and they're also such a nice material. I've been wearing them under oversized sweaters all month long and I love them. My next favorite of the month is actually hand cream and this is from the company, okay, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but I think it's La Ossetane, probably not. And it is their dry skin hand cream. It's 20% shea butter. I remember last year I was using a sample that I had gotten, I have no idea where I got that sample, um, of this and I loved it. So this year my hands started to get really chapped again and dry in the winter time, so I went and picked this up because regular lotion sometimes just doesn't really work out on your skin and then when you're out and about and you're washing your hands a lot your skin will really dry out and so this is kind of nice to carry with you and just kind of reapply after you wash your hands so I really like this this little thing was ten dollars um, which I was like are you kidding me right now but then I remembered how long the little sample they gave me lasted in fact I still have some in it I just keep it as my travel one in my purse um, actually keep both of these in my purse I don't know why I do that I should probably put one in my car I will. But um, yeah, so I, I use this a lot and I think it's great, especially if you're having trouble with dry skin. Another favorite of mine is Downton Abbey. I am obsessed with Downton Abbey. I don't know what took me so long to get into Downton. I think it's because I just, if I don't see 
something like a show from the very beginning I get very frustrated um, and with Downton Abbey I kind of think you need to because there's just so many different storylines going on and I love it um, but I'm upset because I was watching the first season on Netflix but they don't have the second season up on Netflix yet and they've already started the third season on TV so I'm waiting for them to put it on Netflix um, but I think they have it so they send the disc to you as opposed to instant viewing so I might just get the discs because I want to know what happens um, but yeah if you like uh, soap operas I think you really like it but it's like really well acted and shot and Downton Abbey the actual building that they live in is so beautiful it's aesthetically pleasing I mean I, I couldn't say any more good things about it there's a reason why so many people are obsessed with it I'll tell you that much um, but yeah, it's, I mean, I've listened, NPR really likes Downton Abbey, they talk about Downton Abbey kind of a lot, and they described it as a period version of Gossip Girl, and I was like, that's so funny. Um, it's not really like Gossip Girl, but I mean, it's got the same drama and like interweaving storylines, so yeah. Um, I really like Downton Abbey, so I can't wait to see what happens in season two and then in season three, but I've been waiting and I want to watch it, but yeah. Definitely a bit of favorite. <laughs> but season one is definitely on Netflix if you're interested in watching that, so I highly recommend it. <laughs> so that brings me to the end of my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!